Hi YouTube, this is Wingfire69. I'm coming to you with my very first uh, Louis Vuitton video. I will be discussing three items that I just got recently. Um, <clears throat> one today and one on Friday. And I think one I got like a week and a half ago. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so I've been like collecting Louis Vuitton, buying and selling them for uh, a couple of years now. Um, I first was uh, introduced to them back in the late 80s. Um, I used to work at Bloomingdale's and uh, they used to sell them there. I think they still sell them there. Um, the one on 59th Street in Lexington. So I used to work there back in like the late 80s, I would say, or like middle, middle 80s, I used to work there, um, so I had gotten my very first, uh, Louis Vuitton bag, and then, um, uh, I got another one, uh, which was the Speedy, so the Speedy been out for a long time, um, so before that too. Um, so that's a really an iconic bag. Um, anyway, so from there, I just started to buy and sell them. Um, I bought them, and then I would sell them. And it's really, honestly, a good investment to buy a few bags because um, if the uh, bottom ever fell out, um, you would have to, and you needed quick money, that would be a bag that I would, uh, recommend you selling to get back, you know, to recoup whatever money you, you know, you needed. Um, so let me start off by saying that about a week and a half ago, I was looking on YouTube as a couple of videos and stumbled across one. I forgot the, um, the YouTuber that was doing a video on one of uh, Louis Vuitton's uh, 2015 um, item for Christmas. Um, it's a limited edition. So um, I decided to get one. Actually, I actually uh, called them and ordered two. One was the monogram and the other one was the Demi Ebin. But um, when I got to the store in Roosevelt Field Mall, I decided to go with one of them and the other one I didn't want. So let me show you. It came in a box like this. Let me open it. The dust bag is like this. And it's sideways. You open it. So this is the 2015 um, Evasion Mini Pochette. Um, the front part is illustration. It has illustration. And the back part is plain. It has a little chain. Um, the tab is more like a coral color. Inside is not, which is a bummer, but it's okay anyway. Um, I like this because this is a limited piece. Um, they have it in the monogram, but I decided to go with the Demia because um, the colors pop better. Um, and I don't have a lot of Dem Demia I've been. So I decided to get this particular one. This was three sixty five, um, and it's really nice. I wouldn't be using it because I see a lot of people use them in their bigger bags, put them in their bigger bags. But I'm not going to do that. I think I got like about three. I think I got like four cosmetic bags. Um, one Demier. And I think three monograms. So I'm not going to use that for this per for that purpose. It just doesn't make sense. Um, anyway, so this is one of my limited edition pieces. Um, I, and I have another one, not this particular one, but I have a monogram one, uh, a pochette that has a panda on it which I really like so like those pieces I'm going to keep to the side because those are my, more collectible so that's this one here so this week now that just passed I was looking out on YouTube 
it during the daytime at while I was at work. So um, I decided to look at uh, a YouTuber, Ashley. She had a review on getting a particular item that I really liked. Um, it was a bag charm. So what I did was um, she explained it and she said it's kind of limited edition. It just came out. There might not be a lot in the store. So if you could get your hands on it, it would be, you know, awesome. So what I did was the Thursday, that was in the day, Thursday evening, I called Louis Vuitton and asked them to reserve me a bag charm. Excuse me. Um, the place that I normally go to is in Roosevelt Fillmore. I had texted the essay, but he never responded back which was kind of weird, but okay, anyway. So what I did was I um, called the Louis Vuitton store uh, in um, Green Street in Soho and asked them if they could locate me a bag charm. They did, it was in uh, Carroll Square, Macy's, which was perfect. So what I did was I went up there on Friday morning. This is the box dust bag and what I got was a monogram evasion monogram evasion uh, bag charm um, this is bigger than the posy one the posies are more smaller and they're the same price so it's kind of weird or close to the same price so I'd rather get a bigger bag charm and use this so at the bottom here it has like a pinkish it's tur turquoise and pink road so on the back of it it's kind of turk uh, pink uh, it's made in Spain and it has a uh, date code on the top you can't really see it so this is what I have here that was that so when I went when I was there picking up this one I asked the essay if she could uh, locate a damn yet it been one for me because I have um, a lot of monogram purses so I also have a few not um, probably like the one demi yet been bag I have is the actually the never full so I asked the essay if she can locate one for me so she said she'll try her best and she put me you know on a reserve list or whatever list that they have so yesterday I was in um, at the post office and got a phone call stating that um, the back charm came in which was amazing because I just left there Friday and now it's Saturday and they called me so um, she told me I had 48 hours to come and get it so I decided to go today for it so me and my mom drove to um, 34th and Herald Square to the Macy's and um, I went in there and which was weird the sales associate that helped me this time, he was really weird. He was just to me to, uh, he wasn't pleasant. He kept asking me the same question over and over again as far as like, what is my last name and, you know, why am I in here? I mean, like, not to say why I was in here, but I told him that I was here to pick up an item. He asked me if I paid for it. He asked me, um, if was it a repair? And I said, sir, I came to pick up something that was on reserve for me. Um, he asked me for my uh, my ID, which I gave him. Then he asked me again for my last name. So it was just weird. Anyway, then after that, the young lady that helped me on Friday was there. So she had to let him know, could you just get the bag charm for the customer? Okay. Got the bag charm, looked at it. And then he rang me up. I gave him the cash. And he's giving me the box with the uh, receipt. So I said, sir, where's the bag? Oh, did you want a bag? I said, sir, I want, if I'm spending 200, almost $250 for an item, I expect to get a bag, a shopping bag, so I can walk out the store with it. He was like, oh, oh, oh. And I'm like, are you serious? Anyway, so I didn't have a good experience with that with him. So I don't know. They have to teach him better customer service. Um, better servicing customers because that was weird. Anyway, this is the box. Um, same 225 still. Um, 
So here it is. It has a dust bag and everything. This one I really like because the color pops. So I really like this one. Um, and the back of it is like more of a, a, a coral color. Not red like how the um, inside of the Demia bin is. Like how it's always red. Um, this is more of a coral color. It's just the same color as the bottom of the the bag charm here. You know, so I really like it. It has a date code. Um, this one is made in Spain. The monogram is also made in Spain. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but the Demier uh, Mini Pouchette is made in France. So this is this here. I really like this. This is nice. I mean, Ashley, you know, I'll, now I'm always going to try to go out there and look and see what Ashley is saying, you know. Um, but this is what it is. And it's really big. See, look at my hand. My, I don't have big hands, but it practically takes up the whole of my palm, you know. So, so that's that. And so, um, yeah, so that's basically it. So I'm kind of like happy that I was able to get um, these three items this week. Um, as I go along, I'll be uploading more videos. Again, I've been collecting Louis Vuitton for a while. So I have a lot of pieces that are old that I were able, that I was able to actually, um, repair, you know, um, some of the bags, I, it's worth for me to repair them than for me to purchase a new bag because every year these bags go up. So, um, I'm not going to keep buying bags here and there left and right. I'm just not going to do that because I have, you know, other responsibilities and things like that. Um, I had just renovated my swimming pool. So, um, I'm not really going to go all out on pocketbooks like first time. Um, so, uh, that's basically it. So that's all I have for right now. And just stay tuned for my other videos. Um, I'll be putting them out once a week because I'm kind of busy in a sense of um, I won't be able to keep putting them out here and there. But I will tell you this, that those bags that are repaired, that I got repaired, I will show you them. And I also keep keep the receipt. So um, you'll know how much I pay to repair a bag. Um, so... Thanks for watching YouTube and you have a good evening. Bye now.